Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is that you're joining me for this video. Thank you once again for clicking on the Penboy Roy Fountain Pen Review channel. The subject of today's video, Tachia Spectrum. <laughs> the ugly and high noon on this pen, I want to go over some background information. I'm going to start with the brand. The brand is called Tachia. They were founded in the year 2003 by a designer that goes by the name of Shu Jin Lin. The company has since produced pens of unique design using materials that are unique in nature, not often used. What I've noticed is there's a lot of themes based heavily on twigs, snakes, bones, things of that nature. Now having said that, they also do have a lot of traditional pens and designs that are familiar to both you and I. In about 2017, the company released the Tachia Spectrum. It is also worth mentioning the entity known as Itoa are the owners of Tachia. They also happen to be the distributor for Sailor. That's all I got for you. Moving on to the neutral zone. Those elements about the pen that are neither good or bad or can be good or bad depending on you. The nib is about a number five sized proprietary stainless steel two-tone nib made by Sailor branded Tachia this pen is also available in a 14 karat gold nib as well for more money, obviously. Going back to what I was saying about the brand designers, like in snakes, take a look at this design on the nib. It resembles snake skin. Hmm. And if we take a look at the feed here, it's also a proprietary feed made by Sailor. Let's just take a Sailor pen that is actually green and let's compare the feeds. If you look at them, they're identical. Now both the nib and feed are removable. You can grab a grip and pull it straight out. You can even do it without a grip. However, this nib and feed are not part of a removable, unscrewable nib unit. Moving on to the cap body. The cap body is a single piece. The cap screws and unscrews in just a touch over two and a half rotations. The clip is attached to the cap body by using what looks like an L bracket that inserts into an opening on the cap and then adheres to the underside of the bottom of the inside of the cap by what looks like a screw. The clip itself is then fixed and secured to the L bracket by what looks like two little bolts. The clip tension is moderate. It will safely secure your pen inside of your pocket and most likely wouldn't fall out if you're doing cartwheels, somersaults, or inverting yourself upside down for whatever reason. Inside your cap, you have a translucent white sleeve, most likely to safeguard against ink drying out in the nib. The threads on the inside of the cap are acrylic and screw onto metal threads on the body. At the end, what you have is a clip inspired by a snake. My curiosity was piqued and I had to find out if this was in fact intentional, so I contacted a representative at Itoya and such was confirmed. It is inspired by a snake. Our grip section is slightly tapered with a slight flare at the end. The threads on the grip section are an assembly. These threads are made of metal and meet metal threads on the interior of the body of the pen. The bottom of the cap does not have a center band. It is just branded Tachia. The thread assembly on the grip section is assembled with an O-ring, most likely to safeguard against any kinds of leaks. That's my guess. This pen is filled using a cartridge or converter. The converter is also made by Sailor. It is also branded Sailor. This pen is not eye-droppable due to the fact that there are metal threads. Another reason why it's also not eye-droppable is because if you look at the thread assembly on the body of the pen, there's no O-ring within that thread assembly to safeguard against any type of leaking. The pen as a whole is pill-shaped, cigar-shaped, bullet-shaped, both ends being round. The pen is also made of a cast acrylic and not injection molding like you would see in cheaper pens. The pen came in this outer sleeve that says Tachi on it. On the inside is a clamshell box, also reading Tachi. When you open up the box, you have your inserts. One is a small insert that you fill out for your warranty. The other one is instructions with pictures of the pen. You have two included cartridges. The converter is inside the pen. This particular model I have here is called Forest Green. What does the color green mean to these people? This pen is a Japanese pen with an Italian sounding name called green that is not green, made with sailor parts. Whoever it is that's in charge might be a little confused. Somebody needs to talk to this person because one day they're gonna be at a traffic light. Can you imagine? No, that's not green, I'm not moving. They won't budge. That's all I have for the neutral zone. Moving on to the good. Those elements about the pen that are good. Let me talk about the nib. This pen writes like a savage. This nib right out of the box wrote. It's friggin' amazing. Like I said before, this is a proprietary nib made by Sailor branded Tachia. Fantastic idea. It's a credit to those people at Tachia. Sure, they may be a bit colorblind, but how and why is it that Tachia ended up with Sailor made nibs? Well, Itoya is the entity that owns Tachia. It's also the distributor for Sailor, meaning they are the people responsible for the buku bucks that Sailor's making through distribution. So they said to Sailor, hey, we have a plan. 
and nibs sucking is not part of our plan, so we want you to make nibs for us. And being that they carry some weight with Sailor, Sailor was like, you got it. This nib is moderately stiff, does have a little give, and does provide some line variation. It's not too wet, it's not too dry, it's just in the middle. This nib is a moderate balance between smooth and toothiness. There is no issues, no hard starts, no baby's bottom, no skipping, no ink starvation. This pen writes like a savage. When it comes to quality control in this pen, everything is perfection. I can't find a single thing that I could possibly whine about. There is nothing that should not have gotten past quality control and made it into a consumer's hands. This pen, from top to bottom, has been fine tooth combed by the most anal retentive OCD person that Tatya has to offer. Everything is well detailed and symmetrical. This pen has an overall look of sleek, majestic, cool, and the fact that it doesn't have a center band contributes to that. The build quality of the pen is also something to note. It is a solid built, sturdy pen, feels like quality in the hand. It's made of cast acrylic as opposed to injection molding. The pen is very well polished and appears and feels glass-like. Now that's all I have for the good. Moving on to the bad, let's talk coin. For a steel nib, the MSRP on this pen is $159. However, you can purchase it at Gold Spot Pens for $126.95, and that seems to be the average price throughout the United States and our retailers online. For a gold nib pen, the MSRP is $269.95. And once again, Gold Spot has it for $214.95, and that seems to be the average price throughout retailers in the United States. Now, as I mentioned before, this pen is cast acrylic, and although the price for this pen is reasonable, it is very important to mention that at about $130, you're now treading in territory of gold nib pens, such as the Pilot Custom 74, or the Platinum 3776 Sentry, or the Pilot Vanishing Point, which has an enormous amount of engineering in it. You can get yourself a standard Sailor 1911. Now, those pens are in the $150 to $160 range, but it's just important to note, for $130, you're getting a steel nib with cast acrylic. For about $150 to $160, you can get yourself a gold nib pen. So so that's all I got for the bad. Moving on to the ugly. Those elements about the pen should not be, but are. As I said before, quality control was on point. So much to the point where I don't even have much to say regarding quality control. The only thing I can say is, and it's not a quality control issue, is the two and a half turns it takes for me to cap and uncap this pen seems like a lot. Did you ever find yourself on the telephone? You gotta take down a phone number. You say to the person on the other line, hold on a second, I gotta go grab a pen. But you have a pen in your hand. You're just unscrewing the pen and it's taking forever. They don't know it, but you know you had a pen. And why? Every time we have a cool pen, we will jump at every possible reason to write with that pen. And you wanna do it with the flavor of the day or flavor of the week, just know that if this happens to be your flavor of the week or flavor of the day, you are subject to being a liar that day or week. Oh, and by the way, that lie doesn't work when you're face to face and in person. It's high noon, decision making time. Should you or should you not pull the trigger on the Tatia Spectrum? This pen at $126.95, made of cast acrylic with a stainless steel nib that writes the way it does is absolutely worth it. So yes, pull the trigger on this pen, but if you're all about having a gold nib and you don't care so much about having an injection molded pen and not having a cast acrylic pen, then I would say spring for the extra 20 or 30 bucks and get yourself a Sailor 1911, Pilot Custom 74, Pilot Vanishing Point, Platinum 3776. However, as I said before, do keep in mind that these options don't offer the look and the acrylic that this pen provides. That was my review on the Tachia Spectrum. I hope it helped. Don't forget about the Penboy Roy Fountain Pen Review Channel discount code to Gold Spot Pens. What you do is you email me at penboyroy at gmail.com. I'll send you an email with a code. That code entitles you and only Penboy Roy Fountain Pen Review Channel subscribers to a discount at Gold Spot Pens. What you do is you pick up the telephone, you call Gold Spot Pens, you dial 207 pound, and you get to a nice lady named Dawn Johnson. She will coordinate this discount for you. Thanks again for joining me on the Penboy Roy Fountain Pen Review Channel. Be well, be safe. Drink more water. Pee more, live longer, and be able to play with more pens.